Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 8. My goodness. So, a lot of stuff happened this, this episode. Um, I think that, obviously, the key moment for everybody watching this episode was Sasha. Spoilers. Spoilers ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Ob- obviously. Yes. Obviously, spoilers ahead. We're talking about the specific Season 4, Episode 8 of Attack on Titan. Um, and yeah, yeah, that was the that was the big thing. And I, in an earlier video that we did on season four, episode six, I, I talked about how my number one favorite moment of that episode was the face off between Gabby and Sasha. Yeah, and that's why I thought that... it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like, oh, so that's your favorite moment, huh? <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> So like, now... like when, when you talked about like why that was your favorite moment and how like the uh-huh. setup was there and blah 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 and I was like well it's pretty spot on man <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah this was like I didn't know how how long they were gonna drag it out I definitely wasn't expecting the whole thing to be resolved in two episodes but it was and you know I mean I, I wouldn't say it's resolved but certainly we see the consequences of it right well, the thing between her with between Sasha and Gabby is is resolved because gotcha yeah 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 oh Um, yeah 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 yeah. i mean they said she's dead at the end of the episode so i don't know if there's any anime secrecy no no she's dead she's dead okay 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 okay. i mean like Um, you know obviously sasha still has her friends and stuff so so in a way she she affects people even as she's dead right you know right Yeah. yeah so yeah, I mean, it, it definitely hit home for me. I, d- I wasn't expecting it. When I will it say happened. that's that's good. I will say the anime. I think the anime did it better than the manga. Again, I read the manga like years ago. Um, I think it was one or two years ago. I can't remember, but mm. I know the manga back then came out like I think once every month, and so there the pacing wasn't exactly um, the same. And while reading it, it just goes like super fast. Um, And for this one, the anime, they actually spent a good amount of time on it. And one of my favorite parts was Eren actually finally showing emotion on his face at the very (laughs) end. Because like throughout pretty much all of this, he has not shown much emotion on his face at all. That's true. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting... And I, I was kind of reviewing, and this is this might be a tangent, but I'm seeing parallels with. Um, I was reviewing. I recently read the book Dune, and I was reviewing it. And the main character, um, Paul Atreides, is very similar in that he is very he's a very logical character, mm-hmm. and he usually doesn't like to allow his emotions to take over. And, but there are like key moments in that book where, you know, after like something traumatic happens to him and then it's only after like the dust settles and the things that are important have to be taken care of that then his like tears begin to flow. And so now seeing like at the end of all of this yeah. chaos and carnage but that it, Aaron has caused. It goes to show how much Aaron has changed because if you remember before the time skip, Aaron was always very emotional. That's like, true. He That's couldn't true. he couldn't even control his emotions most of the time. That's true. Yeah. So the time skip it just shows. Um and I I'm glad to see that because it's like the Aaron we know. Mm. Um but yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to seeing. I mean, like I've read the manga, so it's not all of all of it, but I I still have more to 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 watch for the anime to catch up. So I'm looking forward to seeing those things unfold for sure. Hmm. Like it's gonna be nice to be on the island again. <laughs> right. Man, I don't know. I I. The, yeah, but like I was saying, the, I mean, how did you the, how did you feel about Sasha? Let's talk about that mainly because that's like one of the yeah, bigger things. I was sad. I, I mean, when it happened, I was like, oh no, not Sasha. Anybody in that room but Sasha? <laughs> <laughs> I was literally like, anybody in that room except Sha- Sasha. I was afraid of um, Jean dying, but 
Sasha was the one who I was like, keep her safe, but no. And then like they kind of dragged it out because they were like, maybe there's a chance <laughs> of saving her. They started like bandage- bandaging her and everything. But then, um, then Connie comes in and yeah, gives <clears throat> us the news. So. Yeah, I, I was I was definitely the most sad when I saw Mikasa and Armin like crying over her dead body, mm. and again the last moment when Aaron just like made that face that that like yeah can't believe this is happening face or like crap face I don't know <laughs> yeah yeah it's 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 interesting and um one of the other things in this episode was the interaction between Levi and Aaron and the death of Sasha kind of just drove all of it home where it's like Aaron essentially forced Levi and the scouts into this position mm-hmm. and he was basically just pushing forward and he didn't necessarily have he wasn't necessarily considering the ramifications of his actions um and so yeah the the deaths of of the different people there are like there are a lot of side characters that or not even side characters just cannon fodder characters that died but then having Sasha die at the very end kind of drives everything that Levi was talking about home yeah I mean we, we gotta have we still gotta have some of that right um, because right. in the first season like even though they're not extremely important characters they um, the deaths of Aaron's friends right his his group mm-hmm. um, including like Marco from Reiner's group, it, mm. those deaths actually like mattered, and we we still need that is what I'm saying, and that's that's one of the reasons I think this death is important. But at the same time, like I, I wish it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's sad. It's sad. This, but... like I said, man, this is this. <laughs> I couldn't tell you before why, but now I can tell you that's why I don't like Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, it's. I I know people. I've read a lot of like comments saying like, okay, Gabby is supposed to be the person that's basically like Aaron on the other side, right? Of yeah, like, she's supposed to experience that. the 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 trauma and mm-hmm. the heartbreak of losing her friends and then mm-hmm. wanting to take revenge on the people who did it to her basically mm-hmm. um so it's it's like a mirror um to Aaron basically right. uh, and the the, the issue is the issue yeah. is um yeah. Aaron wanted to kill all the titans now, <laughs> G- the, uh, Gabby wants to kill all of the people we know and care about so right. that, 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 that's a huge difference guys like it is i, I understand i understand what you guys are saying but like obviously we're watching a show where we're following these characters and we care about these characters so obviously we're not gonna like gabby because she killed one of the characters <laughs> we like so it's it's just that obvious it makes there's sense not, to me. yeah there's nothing else to say like y- yeah. you can defend gabby all you want but like like it doesn't matter think, in, in our feelings you know right the thing that's sealed not maybe not sealed it, but I, like as far as she is right now, the thing that sealed my like dislike of Gabby, and not necessarily like I still very much like her as a character. I just don't like her, if that makes <laughs> sense. Like it's a great character, and I I get that the way that they're using her and um, trying to do that semi yeah 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 to Aaron. It's like it's like a uh, no, it's not like. I was gonna say it's like Joffrey, but no, no. In oh. the char- in the character sense, like we're made to hate Joffrey, and he right, works right, right, very right. well in the story. Yes. Um, it, it, Gabby, obviously not in the same level of hatred, but but you know. Yeah. I'm, but the thing that sealed it for me was when Falco is trying to explain to to Gabby what he like how Aaron is basically doing this for revenge and like they have their reasons that, that they're the same as us but gabby's just like not having it she yeah. doesn't want to hear uh the nuance of what's going on um and so i think that at that point it's you're making a choice for hatred now you're you there's no trying to understand 
and it's like Reiner, the interesting thing about Reiner is that he, like Gabby, grew up in this world where they are taught to hate the people um, from Paradis. And, but Reiner eventually comes to this place where he realizes that he was raised wrong and that the lessons that he, that were beat into him growing up are false and that the people from Paradis are basically just like him. And they're not like evil. They're yeah. not devils. I mean, to be to be fair, you know, Gabby's kind of like a kid still. So <laughs> right, but even Falco is still able to understand it. I I, I get That's that Falco true. was in That's the true. room with Aaron and Reiner, so he he saw it on a different level. But still, I think that I think it shows w- the difference in Gabby's mindset. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's there's more to see. Uh, Definitely with those characters since they're still alive. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, Excited. But yeah, I think the other thing, the other big thing is Zeke. What did you expect that? <laughs> I definitely did not expect it. Although I will say that I was suspicious of his death and I was like, I, okay, so after that episode where Levi comes out and knocks out uh, the Beast Titan, I was like, "Oh man, they took out they took out Zeke so fast!" And then they mentioned in this episode that he's dead. Like the kids think he's dead, mm-hmm. and so I was like, "Is he dead?" Like in my <laughs> mind, I saw I was watching. I was like, "Is he dead?" Like that was a, a pretty fast and uneventful death <laughs> for such a big <laughs> character. Um, so I w- that's when I started getting suspicious because like they were like. They say yeah, he's yeah. dead. And then, but I, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting to see him um, with them. I suppose, I, I imagine that Captain Levi basically swoops him out of there mm-hmm. and brings him into the blimp. But it seems like he's working with them. And at least that's what it seems like. And I'm not sure why. Um, I, I could have. How do I you suppose. feel about that? <laughs> well, the thing is that I I figured that there had to be some sort of meeting of the minds between Aaron and Zeke because they're obviously brothers and they're on opposite sides, and so they are actually better foils against each other um, than Aaron and Gabby. It's like Aaron and Zeke, and so. I figured that eventually the two of them had to meet with each other and like at least have a conversation, mm-hmm. if not have a, a battle to the death. But I I wasn't expecting their meeting to be like this or whatever is going on in, in the yeah, yeah, yeah. background. So Yeah. I, I'm I, I gotta always think about what I say as to not give any hints or like spoilers. Mm-hmm. Um but definitely the first time I read the manga and um you know how you just said they they seem like uh teammates or they seem like they're working together Mm -hmm. in my mind i was like bullshit (laughs) like there's some (laughs) there's something funny going on because because there's no way right because because zeke freaking killed so many scouts and it's just it just i don't understand why he would be working with them you know yeah Yeah. At, at that point so i mean it's it, and it goes both ways because it's like how do you go back from all of the death that just happened to supposedly your own people if you're zeke so you've caused the death of of like tons of people on both sides now like yeah. w- there something has to have happened something has to have shifted or changed so yeah we'll, we'll see i guess I, I have no idea what to think I have no idea what to think. Yeah. I think that was pretty much it. Other than Reiner's uh, Titan form looking kind of strange, worn out. <laughs> but he, right. he, it was a pretty anticlimactic fight just because he just got knocked down once and that's it. But, yeah. you know, it's. I don't think he really even wanted to fight, so it, it's fine yeah. with me. Yeah. We got, we got our fill of titan action in the <laughs> previous, previous episodes. episodes yeah 
so i'm i'm okay with it i'm okay with it yeah but that that's basically this episode i mean i i i really wanted this episode to come out so then i didn't have to like hide the fact that sasha died oh <laughs> uh, yeah you know because that, that's such a big thing <sighs> man man <sighs> but yeah we move forward yeah we're we're we'll see what happens for the next episodes if they are mainly like exposition based then we may not have like an exact discussion video for the next one but maybe like another explain type video um We'll see what happens. But if you guys enjoyed our discussion, we're going to do more Attack on Titan stuff. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.